Previously on Maniac 4 Bricks. I think this is a pretty good steal. Pretty good um, per little purchase there. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Maniac 4 Bricks. If you're not familiar with this setup, it's because I'm on vacation. I have done this in the past for several years, where every so often during the summer, if I go on vacation, I might have some videos that I record on location. And this is no exception. I did want to follow up with the MP3 player video that I did earlier this week, where I gave positive review about it, but here's the thing. If you're not familiar with my channel, I put a general positive spin on just about any LEGO product, and maybe there is a bias to it because it's LEGO or has the LEGO brand on it, but I gotta be honest, not everything that's made from LEGO or partnered with LEGO is worth the positivity that I give it. There are definitely a bunch of stuff that's just uninteresting, bland, I look at it once but never again, or actually has some fault to it. And this one is no exception. I have had a couple people come out to me and say that they want to pick this thing up. Well, I need to give a few caveats as to why this might not be the best thing to pick up. This MP3 player is good for the 2 gigabytes of storage and about 500 songs to load on it. I still have yet to fill this thing up entirely, but it still has some pretty good use on it. The one thing I will have to say is that functionality-wise, it's really not that good when you're bringing it on the go. There's actually a few other issues with it that I will discuss throughout the video, but I'm not saying it's the worst product, I'm not saying it's the best product, I'm just saying I need to take the good and the bad and weigh them more evenly. So after spending a little time with this, I've actually found it's not as easy to work with as I thought. There is some simplicity to it, but it's not always for the best. I did mention all the controls on here before, and one thing that isn't available that I would have liked as a feature is a volume up and down button. There's nothing on here that really indicates how to change the volume, and it actually comes out very soft. Even in the press video that I showed this thing in, it didn't really come out that well. I've even plugged this in with not only a regular pair of headphones, but these are actually ones that have like the little plus and minus on them, like normal iPhone headphones have. Yeah, those become obsolete. Like pressing plus and minus on the headphone jack itself doesn't do anything. I've even plugged this into my car to submit through like an auxiliary cable and play it through the speakers. It comes out softer than if I were to play the same song on my Android phone, or like a Moto Z Force, or in a regular iPhone or iPod. It comes out softer than that, plugged into the car at max volume. That's pretty low. Now, I could obviously uh, change up some of the songs in here if I wanted to increase the volume, just have like different equalizers, but I'm not good at that stuff, so I'm saying as a default, it's not that great. One thing I've also noticed is how this actually goes through each of these things for like settings and such. I did mention before how you basically do it all on this option, and you could actually go back by just pressing the left one and go back a menu, go right to go forward a menu. I think this is by default, and I don't have anything you're going to get to hear here because I didn't plug anything in, but I think it's by default that a song will repeat on here without fast-forwarding or choosing another song. It's kind of strange that way. One thing I've also noticed is that when the song starts, it usually fades in about a second or half a second or so. Same thing happens when you pause a song and then play it again, it will fade between those two. And the same thing happens when you switch over to another song, it will fade it in it's much the same way. So if you're missing a part of your song or it doesn't come through as clearly at first, that's why. Um, as I go through here again, I did mention before, going back to the other menus, now that we've selected a song and actually went to the other song in here, you have to press the home button, go back to music, go back to album or artist, and then choose the next one. So you'd only get to choose based on the album or based on the artist, as far as I can tell. And I've tried experimenting with it for quite a bit, just to be sure that's actually the case. So we have the song playing now, I know it's a little hard to see with the camera lighting, etc. Um, if I go back to the home menu, it'll stop playing the song. So, you know, it'll stop midway through a song. You can't prep the next one. So it's not the best user interface, I would say. It's not the best system of controls 
for an mp3 player in general. I've had ones that were about this age and even older that were a little bit easier to work with, even with or without display. So kind of a bummer on that. I don't know the battery life on this off uh, hand. Like I have had it for a long time where it just sat there and seeing if the battery would drain really didn't really do that. I think at some point it just kind of shut off. And then if you wanted to go back to it, if you didn't already go back, you know, soon, like on a hold setting or a sleep setting, um, which none of these actually offer you. I think it's like, if you don't go back to it for some time, but you do want to turn it on again, you just have to press the home button the same way as before. Um, yeah, kind of underwhelming for an MP3 player. I gave it some positive remarks, mostly because I didn't experiment with it that much. I didn't realize it was going to be a little difficult to switch back and forth between songs or artists in that way. Um, and especially with the volume thing, that's probably one of my biggest gripes about it is that I want to be able to hear the music <laughs> and I can only hear some of it because the volume on this, um, on a standard is output very low. So kind of disappointing on that front. So there's a better look at it with some of the minuses put into play and a little more experimentation with it. In general, like I've said, I generally put a positive spin on any Lego product or just any product, not even because it's Lego, um, that I talk about on the channel, whether it's video games or movies or TV shows or whatever it is. Uh, other building brands even with Mega Blocks or Connects, I usually try to act positive with it because I want to put a positive uh, influence in the community and I don't want to make it like this video just has rant all over it, you know? But I have to be honest, if there are minuses, if there are disadvantages of using a product and I'm reviewing this as a thing for people to say whether or not it's worth it, I kind of have to factor those in. Like with anything, there's going to be good or bad to it. Uh, this is not the worst thing that's ever been made. This is not the best thing that's ever been made. I tried not to make it one or the other between this video and the last one. Sorry that I'm rambling on for a bit. I know you guys don't like longer, short uh, form of content like this, but I wanted to be thorough with this and I wanted to give it a fair chance. I know that sometimes when it comes to reviewing something and just like trying to get it out as fast as possible, you know, you kind of skip over some things. But I'm glad I came back and gave it a second opinion. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you do have this product. Have you faced any of these sorts of issues? Have you worked around them in any way? And I would still try to use this, but I would just try to modify the songs themselves on there. If I can find out how to work an equalizer or increase the volume in some way, maybe it'll be a little bit easier to listen to. And as far as the menu selections, I'll try to work with that as best as I can, just to like, again, modifying the songs or where they're categorized. But we'll see you next time with more LEGO videos.